What is going on YouTube? I want to welcome you to the University of Aesthetics channel. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, today I want to take you guys through another tips video. And what I'm going to be talking about today are three tips that are going to help you burn more calories during your gym session. So, you know, while you're at the gym, one of the main goals you probably have is to burn calories. So these three tips should help you to do that and uh, just increase the amount of calories that you're burning during your session. So uh, some of these may seem like no brainers, but maybe you just didn't think of it to start out. So just sit back, enjoy the video, take some notes if you want to. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first tip um, to burn some extra calories while you're at the gym, and this, this has to do with cardio. So I've made some videos about cardio in the past, and this will not pertain to HIIT cardio. So if you're doing HIIT cardio, uh, don't worry about it. Um, or if you're doing cardio like the, the dynamic, like the video I showed you before, then you won't have to worry about this. But the two forms of cardio that I'm focusing on most are using the stair mill and using the treadmill. So when you use these, a lot of times you'll see people holding on to the handles. So you'll see someone on the treadmill cranked up on the incline. They're literally just walking like a zombie on it, holding on to the top. Or you'll see someone on the stair mill holding on to the handles and they're doing the stair mill and they're basically like lifting themselves off the ground or off, they're holding themselves up with their arms while they're doing the stair mill. So if you guys release your hands and stop holding on to the handles, I guarantee you, you will burn more calories. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it more challenging, therefore increasing your heart rate and then you'll burn more calories because it's more challenging. Your heart rate's getting up higher. Um, you're not supporting yourself with the handle. So you're getting more arm motion in and you know with the stair mill, it's just more of a dynamic movement. You're not supporting yourself. You're, you're, by holding onto it, you're making it easier for yourself. So uh, unless you have like really just horrible problems with balance, I suggest you to remove your hands from the handles on those and just challenge yourself a little bit more. I guarantee you, you will burn more calories doing it that way. So first tip, don't hold on to the handles when you're doing cardio. Um, if you're doing like an elliptical where you have to hold on, then you, obviously you have to hold on for that. But um, for like the stair mill and the treadmill, release your hands and I promise you, it will uh, challenge you and you'll burn more calories. So tip number two is to incorporate in supersets to your workout routine. So, um, you know, picking two exercises and going back to back with no rest, that's what it's gonna do is it's going to get your heart rate up a lot higher, therefore burning more calories. So, um, you know, a lot of times if I'm in a time crunch, what I'll do is, you know, I have my set exercises that I'm gonna do that day for my, my body group or my muscle group. So let's say I'm doing back, I have, you know, my list of exercises. Instead of doing one and just, you know, knocking out each one, what I'll do is I'll group them in pairs and I'll do supersets all the way through. And what that does is it gets your heart rate up really, really high because you're, you're not allowing your body that time to recover between. And then it also provides for a great pump because you're just forcing so much blood into the muscle. So that one kind of has a couple benefits, great pump, and you also burn more calories from an increased heart rate. So um, on that one, obviously if you have different goals, maybe it, it wouldn't help to superset. So like if you're bulking, and you know, you're really trying to put on some quality mass and you, you really want to have those rest times so you can increase strength. Obviously, the supersets might not be the best thing for you, but if you're trying to lose weight and you're dieting or cutting or you're just trying to burn calories in the gym, doing those supersets will really help with that, getting your heart rate up through the roof. So that is tip number two, incorporate supersets into your routine. And the last tip that I'm gonna tell you guys is to include a dynamic warm-up into your workout routine. So um, a lot of times, and this includes myself, a lot of people will just come into the gym and do like rotator cuff work and you know that's all they do for a warm-up and that's fine. You know obviously like I do that myself but if you're trying to burn more calories or if you want to burn more calories let's take maybe a leg day for example um, doing a dynamic warm-up is just going to add to the amount of calories that you're burning. You're more active than you would be if you were just doing like a, a light warm up or you know something like that. So dynamic warm up could include you know like um, high skips or like bounding. You know maybe doing some uh, body weight lunges across the gym. 
uh, maybe doing like high knees or going on the treadmill first and doing some type of walking routine or the stair mill just to get those legs warmed up in a dynamic fashion. So you have static and you have dynamic. Static being um, you're staying in place, so that would be like static stretching. Um, and dynamic is uh, getting your body in movement, so you're, you're um, warming up through movement. So those are my three tips to burn a little bit more calories from your gym se session uh, by getting your heart rate up higher. So tip number one is <clears throat> to include, well we have include the supersets, we have the dynamic warm up, and then don't hold on to the handles, I almost forgot that one. So those three should really help you guys out with burning more calories in the gym. So if you're already doing these, then great, you're on the right track. Um, and you know, if you're not doing these and you're looking to lose some weight or burn more calories, then throw these into your routine and just see the results happen through that. So um, lastly, if you have a, a, a fitness tracker, you can actually kind of track your, the difference. So you know, maybe track or look at the records that you have on your Fitbit app um, from your past workouts and then incorporate these in and see how many how much more calories you burn in the same amount of time like the same workout so just give it a try out there I promise you you will burn more calories from this and I hope this video helped you out it is a Friday so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and enjoy and uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching again um, if you have any uh, suggestions for future videos, just put it down in the comments and I would love to make a video about a topic or question that you have. So just stay tuned for more content and once again, thank you guys for watching.